Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a comparison between these two Ninja blenders. On the left, I got the Ninja Mega blender, and on the right, I got the Ninja Professional Plus. Now the Professional Plus does have some auto IQ functions. These things look really similar, but they got some differences. The Professional Plus on the right has 1400 watt power, and the Ninja Mega has 1500 watts. So they're both the same height. They both come with a mixing bowl, but they're not interchangeable. Even though these are both 72 ounce pitchers, um, they look almost identical except the bottom. So this one's a much heavier duty or bottom where the connection is. Whereas over here on the Mega System, it's a little bit different system. But up top, the pitchers uh, look the same and they use the exact same blade on the inside. So this has the exact same blade as that and they are interchangeable, but the pitchers are not interchangeable. They have the same connection down there. So even on the mixing bowl, the Professional Plus, it's got a little bit bigger connection where this one's a little bit smaller but they both come with the same blade on the inside. And this is for dough. This has the exact same blade as this one. On the Mega, it doesn't have that opening where we can put some more liquid, but they kind of operate the same. You lift them up. There's the blade. There's the connection. There's the blade. There's the connection. Again, completely interchangeable, but not the, the bases are not interchangeable. Okay, so let's look at the to-go cups. So these are 24 ounces on the Professional Plus. And these are just 16 ounces and it just, it's open all the time. These are like travel. So I can close this and it completely seals this drink. And the blade, mixing blade is different. So here we've got the difference and the bottoms. So quite a bit of difference for the, for the travel mugs. Okay, so let's look at the bottom of the units. The Professional Plus, it's got suction cups. They're a little bit smaller, but they do a good job. They do uh, hold it and they're easy to get off. Over here on the Mega, these are actually a lot bigger suction cups, but they got these little handles to help you remove them. So when you put this one down, it's really tight, but it makes it so easy to remove it whenever you just lift these handles, then they come right up. Otherwise, this is a really tight. This one, it holds, it holds pretty good, and then you can lift it up and get it off okay too. Okay, so I've got some smoothie uh, mixture from earlier. I put some ice cubes in it and some more water for demonstration. But let's go to the control panel now. So we've got power. We can do blend and crush. The dough is when you've got the mixing bowl on and the single serve is when you're doing the single serve items. So over here, the smoothie and the ice crush lights are lit up. When you're doing the single uh, cups, that one lights up. And when you're doing the mixing bowl, these two light up. Now I also have low, medium and high and pulse. And I have a countdown clock. Over here, I've just got kind of some speeds yeah, so when I have the pitcher installed, these are like, this is like level. So level one, two, and three as far as the mixer is concerned. So I press it, then I got to press it again to turn it off. Over here, these are like, this is the auto IQ function. So the smoothie is going to start and stop automatically with a countdown clock. Same with the ice crush. And then low, medium, and high, and pulse. These three will stay on until I press them again. Okay, so let's start the blenders. Let's go to two and smoothie. Okay, so the auto IQ stopped on its own. I did have to press the button when it was time to stop. And you can see with that auto IQ, it kind of uh, mixes for a while, then lets it settle. That kind of helps. But again, both of these are very powerful blenders. They had no problem whatsoever. A lot of that was frozen inside there. So cleanup is gonna be exactly the same on them. All those parts are dishwasher safe, you know, except the base unit, you just gotta wipe it off. So if you're wanting maybe like a travel mug that kind of mixes a little bit more, then maybe the Professional Plus. This one's also a nice blender too. I just wanted to show everybody the differences between these two. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.